Okay, as promised, uh, we're going to work a few problems and do a few examples with regards to significant figures and calculations that involve rounding off to the appropriate number of significant, significant figures. If you need to, you might want to go back and review your uh, notes from the last two discussions with regards to significant figures. Um, if you've already done that, let's just plow on through this and see how well you do. Um, let's take a look at question number one here where I'd like you to determine the number of sig figs in each of the following measurements. Letter A, we have a measurement of 23.30 centimeters. Now remember, with measurements we're really concerned about zeros, aren't we? Those are the only numbers that we question as to whether or not they are significant. So the question is, is that zero uh, at the end of this number to the right of the decimal significant? And the answer is yes, it is. This measurement has one, two, three, and that last uh, digit, that zero, is significant. So I would say that measurement has four sig figs. Let's talk about for a minute why. What if I had the measurement 23.3 centimeters? If that were my measurement, then the three would have been my estimated value. Remember, you can only have one estimated value. And of course, the digits that become that come before it are known for sure. So this measurement here would have three significant figures. So the individual that used this measurement, 23.30, must have had a more accurate measuring device because now the three is not estimated, that three. This zero is now my estimated digit and that three is now known for sure. Do you see how they differ? Uh, this one has four significant figures. That zero is estimated, so I know the three numbers here before it for sure. And this measurement here, I have three significant figures. This digit is estimated, and I only know two for sure for a total of three sig figs. Now that takes a little bit of practice. Let's do a few more. How about this guy right here? Uh, 1843.02 grams. Now that's a zero between non-zero digits. And we said, I think that was our first rule, those are always significant. So this measurement has one, two, three, four, six significant figures. How about 3.66 kilograms? Well, that's pretty easy. That has three significant figures. How about letter D? There are 12 eggs in a dozen. I'll bet many of you right now are writing down two significant figures, aren't you? You're wrong. Think. Why is that wrong? 12 eggs in a dozen. Is that a measured number? It's a counted number, isn't it? Counted numbers, or in this case, definitions, have an infinite number of significant figures. There are 12 eggs in a dozen, not 12.001 eggs in a dozen. That wouldn't be a dozen, would it? So counted numbers or definitions have infinite number uh, of significant figures. Okay, how about letter E? We have 705,000 seconds. Now we have a couple of things going on here. We do have a zero between non-zero digits, so that's significant. But then we have these zeros at the end of the number that are to the left of the decimal. They're simply acting as placeholders. Can't I rewrite this measurement as 7.05 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, to the fifth number of seconds? So you can see that these zeros at the end were not really that important. When I rewrote the number in scientific form, I didn't need them. If you don't need them, they're not significant. So this measurement would have three sig figs only. So if you have a question, just rewrite your value in scientific form. If the zeros are not needed, remember, they are not significant. Alrighty, how about 0 0.00456 milliliters? Well, that zero is sort of silly. Isn't that just letting us know that the decimal point is coming? How about these two zeros here? Well, the number doesn't end in zeros to the right. 
These are numbers at the, these are zeros at the beginning of my measurement. Now we know that those aren't significant. Let's rewrite this in scientific form and see if we need them. Wouldn't I write it as 4.56 times 10 to the negative third? So these zeros at the beginning are not significant. So that measurement has three sig figs also. Now letter G, well, we have a decimal right here at the end. And that decimal tells you that the person that made that measurement intends the zeros that come before that decimal to be measured values. They are significant. So, if I were to rewrite this in scientific form, I would have to write it as 5.3200 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3rd, times 10 to the 4th. So, it's intended, when I put that decimal there at the end, that these zeros before it are significant. So this would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 significant figures. Alright, now let's do some arithmetic here. Remember, for this class we're mostly going to be doing adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. The math should not be that hard. Your question is going to come when, it, uh, when we begin to round these answers and understanding and using our significant figure rules. So remember, when we add or subtract, we're interested in the least accurate number, and that's where we're going to round our answer to. So I find it helpful to line these up, to line the decimal points up. So for letter A, we have 6.201, 7.4, and 12.0. Now when we add these, we get a 1 and an 8, a 2, I have to carry the 1, 14, that's a nine, 16, carry the 1. Hopefully I did my math right. I get 26.281. Now this first measurement I know to the nearest thousandth. The second one I know to the nearest tenth. I have no idea what comes after that 4, do I? It's a mystery. My calculator assumes they are zeros, but we're not sure. This one I know to the nearest uh, hundredth, and this I know to the nearest tenth. Now, according to our addition rules, we need to round to the least accurate decimal place. So in this case, I have the nearest thousandth, tenth, hundredth, and tenth. We need to go to the nearest tenth. So I need to make a decision there. Do I leave that a two, or do I raise it up to a three? Well, the number next to it's eight, so we round that up to a three. So this would be 26.3 centimeters. Okay? Try the next one. We have 1800. Whoops, let's make sure we're writing on camera here. 1884 kilograms, 0.94 kilograms, 1.0 kilograms, and 9.778 kilograms. Okay, let's use our calculator here. We'll add these up. We have 1884 plus 0.94 plus 1.0 and then 9.778. Hopefully I pushed those in correctly. My calculator says 1895.718. make a decision here. This is to the nearest whole number, the nearest hundredth, the nearest tenth, the nearest thousandth. My least accurate is to the nearest whole number, so I need to round this off to the nearest whole number. So this becomes 1,896 kilograms. Okay, let's try letter C. Let's just do this straight in my calculator. We have 16.156 plus 28.2 plus 
0.0058 and then we'll add 9.44 my calculator says 53.8018 grams let's see this one's to the nearest thousandth the nearest tenth the nearest ten thousandth and the nearest hundredth my least accurate to the nearest tenth so I need to round that off to the nearest tenth so this becomes 53.8 grams. Okay, remember when we add and subtract, we don't look at sig figs, we look at what the decimal is. Alright, let's multiply and divide here. The rules for multiplication and division are a little bit different. This time we do look at significant figures. And we round off um, to the same number of significant figures as the measurement with the fewest number of sig figs. So, on letter A, we have 10.19 times 0 0.013. Now, my calculator says 0.13247. If you were to write that down as a homework answer, it would be marked incorrect. We have to round it off to the proper number of sig figs. This measurement has four sig figs. This measurement has only two sig figs. So I have to round off to the sig second significant figure. So this rounded off would be 0.13 square meters, because we have meters times meters, so my unit is square meters. Okay, two sig figs. Let's take a look at letter B. 3.2145 times 4.23 kilometers. My calculator says 13.597335, which is a ridiculous answer. It has way too many significant figures. This measurement has five sig figs. This has three sig figs. My answer can have three, so I'll count over three from the left. I want to round right there. So this would be 13.6 square kilometers. And letter C, we have some scientific form here. So this will be good practice in using our calculators. We have 7.50 second EE to the sixth power. That's what your calculator should look like right now. And we are multiplying that by 2.2 second EE to the uh, negative third power. So that's what your screen should look like. We'll hit enter and we get 16,500. So let's take a look here. We have three significant figures here, two significant figures here. We have to round off and so let's see, to two significant figures, this would become 17,000 square meters. Not 17, because 16,500 rounded off to two significant figures is not 17. It's 17,000. By the way, we could rewrite this as 1.7 times 10 to the fourth square meters which is also very acceptable. Okay, the division rules are the same as the multiplication rules. So let's just uh, push these in. 80.23 divided by 2.4. My calculator says 33.42916667. Obviously way too many significant figures. This measurement has two sig figs, this has four. My answer can have two sig figs. So I round that off to 33 meters per second. The unit is meters divided by seconds here, so that's meters per second. Okay, letter B, 4.301 divided by 1.9. My calculated answer is 2.2636842111. Two, 
I have four significant figures on top, two on the bottom. My answer can have two sig figs, so I have to round off there. That becomes 2.3 kilograms per cubic centimeter. Kilograms per cubic centimeter is my unit. And the last one, we have some scientific form, so we get to practice that again. So we have 6.6 .6 second EE to the eighth divided by 2.31 second EE to the negative second. That should be what your view screen looks like there. We'll hit enter. Oh boy, that's an ugly number. 2.8. 5714285.7 times 10 to the 10th. I have two sig figs here, three sig figs here. I have to round off to two sig figs, 2.9 times 10 to the 10th meters per second. Okay, there you have it.